everybody, this is Michael Jake. I wanted to shoot a quick video for you to kind of demystify what's, what's involved in an assignment of contract. And that's typically how I do the majority of my wholesale deals. So typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, what I call my standard uh, buy and sell agreement. I'm going to sign this contract with my buyer, or with my seller. Uh, and typically what is important to have in your buy-sell agreement is some way that allows you to assign your contract. And I'll just read you what I've got in mind, just so you, you've got just uh, an idea of what's involved. Um, you know, parties, uh, my company, here and referred to as buyer, and this, uh, I'm going to have a blank there for the seller's name, hereafter referred to as seller, which terms may be singular or plural and include heirs, successors, personal representatives, and assigns of seller and buyer hereby agree that seller will sell and buyer will buy and it goes on from there but in a nutshell that pretty much says that uh, the seller or the buyer has the right to assign the agreement and I don't quit there but some of the other language is uh, you know the uh, heirs, successors, personal representatives okay uh, and I'll tell you just a quick sideline story actually uh, uh, my friend Sean who kinda got me started in real estate investing actually had this happen to him he was uh, hammering this guy for, I mean, it was nearly a year they were in no negotiation on this 24-unit building. And they finally kind of came to grips, and they finally came to an agreement, at least verbally. And uh, the, the dude that he was buying this thing from said, okay, when I get back from my vacation, we'll go ahead and get this thing signed up. And as luck would have it, the dude actually died on the vacation. So Sean's uh, deal kind of got drug out even even longer. So, uh, you know, he did actually end up buying that thing. But uh, in this agreement, that kind of went to short, shortcut that process a little bit. So right up front, we said, uh, said the buyer has the right to assign. And then I actually have a separate uh, clause in the agreement, and I'll read that to you too. And on my agreement at section 16, it says assignment. Parties here to agree that buyer shall have the right to assign this agreement and the terms and provision hereof shall be binding upon and in your to the benefit of parties here to, their successors, representatives, heirs, and assigns. And there it is, about as ironclad as you can get. That gives me the right to take this contract and assign it to whoever I want. Uh, now, once I find my buyer, you know, typically step one, uh, and, if, and if you look just real quick, I, I've got another video I'm going to post either today or, or soon uh, of a walkthrough of a junk, uh, a typical junker, and it actually happens to be this contract that I've got in my hand, and that'll give you an idea of how to quickly estimate the repairs. A different topic, but you'll actually see the house. And what I did, uh, another little clause I have in here, in my agreement that allows me access to the property, it allows me to put a sign and or a lockbox on the property and show uh, show people. Now typically I say it's either going to be my partners, investors, and or contractors, and, and I make sure I just don't do that, I make sure my, my seller understands that. So uh, I've had several people look at the property, I didn't go out there and do it, I got an, a buyer that raised his hand, said he wants it, and then ultimately this is what we do. This is the only other fancy piece of paper that we have, and that's called the Assignment of Contract for Purchase and Sale. And that just simply identifies the date. Uh, you know, Right here we've got the date of the contract, this contract that I filled out. Uh, it has, you know, right here is my company as the buyer uh, or assigns buyer, uh, the seller's name, uh, the property address in question, and it has the contract buyer's name, or the assignee buyer, uh, and then it has the fee. And in this case, looks like I'm making $7,000 for, for my contract. So in this case, I sign as the assignor, my buyer signs as the assignee. Uh, I'm gonna fax, actually the contract I've already faxed over to the title company, but now I'm just gonna fax this piece of paper over to the title company. And in this case, I'm just gonna email a copy or fax a copy of this over to my buyer, let them sign it. They'll fax their signed copy, so we get dual signatures on this, over to the title company, and that's it. And, and really, part of the escrow agreements, I'm not even going to this closing. In fact, I'm going to be on an airplane uh, on, my, uh, on my way to a vacation for about a week, so I'm not even going to be there. So once this hat closing goes down, uh, basically, title company is just going to wire funds directly to my account, so I don't actually need to be there. 
Uh, now, admittedly, I do go to a lot of them. I kind of like hanging out and just, uh, you know, building relations with my buyer and or uh, my title folks. And yeah, they got pretty good coffee and they got really good cookies there too. So probably not the best thing for my waistline. But uh, anyway, whether you want to go to a closing, whether you don't want to go to a closing, that's how you can get an assignment of contract deal done. So hope that was helpful for you. This is Michael Jake.